Hi guys, it's Katie here. I'm making a video today about the four reasons that I think will help you start your plant-based journey. I have been plant-based since December of this year and I've been feeling really great lately and I just want to let you guys know to help anybody who's thinking about it um, transition a little bit easier. Four ways that this can help you. So let's get started. So the first thing I think that will help you and this is a they're all big ones but this is a really big one discover why you need to ask yourself why you personally want to start this lifestyle it is challenging at times it is um it can be intimidating it can be it can sometimes you might feel like you're not doing the right things or you're you're not eating enough or you're not eating right to make sure that you're getting all the and I know a lot of vegans on YouTube have given her a hard time because she's kind of a skeptical vegan I guess if you can say she's debunked things like what the health and you know she's called them out and called out fully raw cross Christina on things and if you're the skeptical kind but you're still thinking about it I would say watch her YouTube channel I'll link it below and she'll have videos on here that will, you know, kind of help you make a decision. She's not all like, oh yeah, this is great. She's like, no, B12, it's something that you need. This is why you should supplement it every day. Don't listen to people who tell you not to do it. You know, I'm all for the plant-based lifestyle. I definitely think it's a healthy way to live my life, but I'm not stupid and I'm not blind to the fact that you know, it needs supplementation with things like B12 and you gotta make sure you're getting vitamin D and you gotta make sure you're getting your protein. And another thing that kinda jump started me into going vegan was the Rich Roll podcast and uh, his website. I love Rich Roll, he is like one of my idols. He totally turned his life around and he's a huge vegan, plant-based, um, advocate and he's a triathlete and if he wasn't getting enough protein or nutrients 
he wouldn't have been able to run the ultra five days in a row. Definitely check that out. And uh, again, I'll link it below. Do your research and then decide if it's something that you think you'll want to do. Number three, be prepared to cook. If you're not a cook, you're going to have a bad time. I'm not saying that you have to cook in order to be vegan or plant-based, but you should because when you're making things like veggie burgers and stuff like that, especially if they're not homemade, you're still doing the vegan thing, but then, you know, there's still processed foods within the plant-based and vegan lifestyle. With veggie patties, um, french fries, you know, all these other things. They're great on occasion, but if that's all you're eating, you're not gonna really see the health benefits you would as if you handmade your, your veggie burger with um, black bean and oatmeal and farro. You definitely are gonna need to start cooking.